teachers and parents plan to rally Thursday to push back against four school board members. It could force schools to close kids to miss another day of school. Now, this comes after three other board members accused their colleagues of breaking state law. They say those four new members privately plotted to force out school superintendent Corey Wise. CBS 4's Connor McHugh on the story for us tonight. And Connor, the teachers union says this is not the first issue they've had with these new board members. Well, Jim and Karen, this controversy comes after the board's new, more conservative members voted to change the district's equity policy, despite staff and student objections. Now, after last night, one longtime teacher tells CBS4 she's considering leaving her job, the one that she loves, and the union says she's not alone. Board members have taken action they, they're not authorized to take. On Monday, Susan Meeks was among three board members accusing President Mike Peterson and Vice President Christy Williams of telling Superintendent Corey Wise to resign or be voted out, something they allege happened outside of a meeting and without board approval. Any decision about the, the future of of the superintendent needs to be done in an open meeting. Jeff Roberts is with the Colorado Freedom of Information Coalition. He says the alleged actions could violate the state's open meetings law, inviting challenges in court. The whole point of the law is to make sure that the public knows what their government is doing. I was completely blown away by the information that was shared last night. Kevin DePasquale with the union representing Doug Co teachers is equally concerned. He says Wise's dismissal would be the latest questionable action by the board's new, more conservative members. It creates uncertainty for staff, which impacts students directly. Sources say more than 700 substitutes are needed Thursday on the district's scheduling platform. Teachers and parents will rally that same afternoon at district headquarters to send a message. We're worried about attracting and retaining staff. Among those worried about the new board's direction, teacher Margaret Motes, a 31-year veteran of the district. If we're losing teachers like they say we are, this is only going to make it worse. I can't think of anyone that would want to work under this circumstance if it's true. Board President Mike Peterson released a statement to CBS4 this afternoon saying he is committed to staff privacy, going on to say there has been no action taken on the superintendent's contract or employment status. Last week's conversation was to, prov to provide our superintendent with information needed to participate in an ongoing discussion. Hopefully, Connor, they can get everybody together and figure this out, right? Right, Karen. Thanks, Thanks so much. Time now to center over. Today, one of two, I should say. Hey, the team.